can't get it by honesty. They got it by rape, rob, and murder. That's right. Read. And take them by violence. And take it by violence. Okay? Murder. Read. And houses and take them away. Uh huh. So they oppress a man and his house. Uh huh. Even a man and his heritage. That's deep. The Lord uh. said they oppress a man and his house and his heritage. His children and his heritage. This is why we've been stripped of who we are as a people. This out. is why every time you run to a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, they don't know who they are. They don't know any clue what their heritage is. You ask a Chinese man, they know. They say, we got our little dragons and, and fortune cookies. You know, they know what they get down with, their little kung fu. You talk to an Arab man, they got their little turbans, their tunics, you know, the way they like to eat their little goat and all that stuff. They know what's going on with their culture. But with us, with our people, what's our heritage? Rap music? Chicken and watermelon? <laughs> Bring it out. Is that, our, is that our culture? Okay. Sports? No. This is sponsored why we confuse that. What, brother? I said sponsored by Nike. They can say sports. Exactly. And then they put their logos on top of us. Yeah. You, got, you got the greatest of our athletes, and then they got them in a commercial sponsored by some heathen custom, some heathen logo. Okay. We don't know who we are as a people. We lost our identity and our culture. Fine. This is why it says they oppress a man in his heritage. They stripped us of who we are. As soon as we got off those boats, they said, I dare you to call yourself a Hebrew. See what happens. I dare you to pick up that word. See what happens. I dare you put on some fringes. See what happens. Okay? But now we waking up. Now it is high time that we come out of sleep, y'all. Okay, Ezekiel 35 and 5. So all they've done is murder our people from day one. Ezekiel 35 and 5. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35 and verse 5. Give me Job 5, 12 through 13. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. What the Lord said? Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Didn't the Lord tell us to never trust thine enemies? Uh, Sirach 12 and 10. Here it is. Ezekiel says they have a perpetual hatred. This is why the Lord says don't trust them. They're not for you. They actually hate you. Esau hated his twin brother Jacob and pursued to kill him. That's, That's right. Genesis 27. Read. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel. And this is what they've done day after day, week after week, year after year, and shed the blood of the children of Israel. This is why every time you turn on the TV, you hear about another so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American getting killed by the police. Now, mind you this, that's the stuff that is being caught on camera and that they're choosing to put on TV. How much stuff is not being recorded that we don't know about? Bring it out, huh? Okay, read. By the force of the sword. By the force of the sword. Whether it be the, the, the ancient sword or the modern sword being the gun, right. the rope, the knife, whatever the case may be, whatever form of execution that they have designed throughout history until this present day. They've killed us and murdered us in the most uh, wicked atrocities that you can imagine. Okay? Tying us in, to horses, ripping our limbs apart, lighting us on fire. Uh, putting hooks in our ribs and hanging us from trees. This happened to our people. Right. Not everybody can claim that history. That happened to us, Yasharala. Read. In the time of their calamity, in the time of, so like in the time that their iniquity had an end. See that the Lord said, even when we were supposed to be done being punished, y'all continued to kill us. Y'all continue to oppress us. Bring that out, King Job chapter 5. 12 through 13. Job 5, 12 through 13. Uh -huh. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. But see, but the Lord said he's going to disappoint the devices of the crafty. They may be crafty and plotting and scheming, but he says he's going to disappoint their craftiness, That's their right. devices. This isn't going to continue forever, Yasharala. There's going to come a day where his devices, his craftiness is going to be disrupted. Read. So that their hands cannot perform perform their enterprise. He says he's going to make sure that happens. He's going to stop their hands from performing their work. That's They're right. not going to be able to plot and scheme and devise evil upon their beds. One day, when the when the black messiah, Hamashiach Yahweh returns, Come. in that day, 
they're devising and scheming and plotting is going to be over. That's right. They right. yeah. take it the wise in their own craftiness. He's going to take the wise in their own craftiness. You see that? He's setting them up to make these nuclear bombs just to drop it on their head. Uh, that's right. And the council of the thrower is carried headlong. Headlong. See, he's going to deal with them accordingly. Okay? They might think they got it all figured out, but the Lord said he's going to disrupt their wisdom. They're, they're uh, 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 scientists. All, all their scheming that they're doing to keep us subjugated to them, he says, he sees all through that. Okay? And he's going to turn it on them. Remember, Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived, for God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And they've sowed a lot of evil. And they're going to get that back on their head. Okay? 1 Corinthians 3 and 19. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3 and verse 19. Give me Psalm 17, 13. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness the, with God. The Lord said the wisdom of this world is foolish, foolishness with the Lord. Read. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. You see that? He's going to turn it around on them. He's going to pull the rug from underneath them. Right when they think they got the trigger in their hand, it's going to blow up in their hand. That's right. Okay? The rabbit is going to have the gun one day. Okay, It's going to turn around on them. They're going to reap what they have sown. Okay, Psalm 17, 13. But this is all by design. The Lord warned us in advance. He said if we didn't keep his laws, his statutes, and commandments, that he would put the enemy over us. The Lord is not a man to where he could lie. Whatever he says is true. Matter of fact, get that real quick. Uh, Isaiah 46 and 10. Hold that real quick, Doc. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 46, and verse 10. Read. Declaring the end from the beginning. The Lord said he declared, uh, uh, start at verse 9, actually. Start at verse 9. Uh, Isaiah, chapter 46, and verse 9. Remember the former things of old, uh -huh. for I am God, and there is none else. The Lord said he is God, and there is none else. He is God Almighty. Read. I am God, and there is none like me. There's nobody like the, the Most High God. Read. Declaring the end from the beginning. He says he knows the end from the beginning. He already wrote this out. Huh. This is a movie on Rewind. He's, a, he's already telling us how this is going to play out. Read. Huh. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done. He says, I'm telling you what's going to happen. All the way from back then, he's warning us in advance, huh? Uh, so we need to pay attention to what does say the Lord. He's already seen everything. We are wise to take heed to his word, to uh, his warning. Okay, read. Saying, my counsel shall stand. And whatever he says is going to stand. And he warned us. He said, if you do this, this is going to happen. Uh, you break my laws, you're going to go under a series of curses. And he honored what he says. All praises to the Most High for being a truthful and good and righteous God. That's right. That's, That's what right. we want. We want it to serve a truthful God. Okay? Uh, he, he warned us. He gave us a fair warning. He said, if you listen, you will be blessed. That's right. If you don't listen, you are going to be cursed. Uh, and this is why you see the Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans so-called suffering as a people. Read and I will do all my pleasure. He's going to do whatever he says. Everything that he says is going to happen is going to come to fruition. Uh, Psalm 17, 13. Psalm 17, 17, 13. Read. If I wait, the grave is, it is my house. I have made my bed in the darkness. That's 17, 13? Oh, this is the joke. Yeah, yeah. Psalm 17, 13. Psalm 17, 13. God. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Which is thy what? Which is thy sword. The Lord said, Arise, O Lord, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, That's right. which is thy sword. That's right. I hope everyone understands what that means. The Lord said That's he right. created these people to be his sword. Shall That's on, brother. Right. Shalom, brother, sister. Y'all got a minute for the word of God? Y'all at least take a flyer? All right, all. Hey, y'all Israelites, most likely. Do some research on it, y'all. We God shows the people. That's right. All Wake right, them up. all right. All right. Yeah, you just marked yourself. <laughs> Judgment is coming.
Read it one more time, all right? Psalm 17, 13. And give me Romans 13, <laughs> right. one through three. Arise, O oh Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. David is saying, Arise, O oh Lord, cast the wicked down. David said that these heathens are the sword of God. In other words, he's using them as a whipping stick to deal with us accordingly. That is why they were created, to punish us. Okay? He, tell them all, King. Hey, brother, link up with us. Come get with us this, uh, this Wednesday at Bible study. All right, I got you. I'll hit you Tuesday. All praise to the Most High. All praise to the Most High. Hey, what time? Uh, Wednesday, John. 6.30, King. 6.30. 6.30. Tonight we are we wrapping up uh, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Yeah, I need to learn more about the holidays. The holidays. All praise, all, all praise. praise. Come link up with us, yeah, gang. We brothers, we brothers. We got we got to link. Matter of fact, get that real quick. Zephaniah two and one. You're probably familiar with this. Zephaniah two one and two. Zephaniah two one and two. Uh huh. Gather yourselves together. The Lord said we need to gather together. Read. Yeah, gather together, O nation not desire. O nation not desire. We are the least desired nation. On this earth. This is why Psalms 83 it says that they band together. They consent together to try to take out the memory of Israel. That's okay? Right. We are the least desired. But it's ironic though, because they try to be like us. That's right. Bring it out. They try right. to tan like us. Mm. Put Con. lip injections Con. and butt injections. Okay? <laughs> they want to jump like us. Bring Cook it out. Like us, That's okay? right. They want to be just like us, but they hate us. <laughs> they just the perfect hater. That's all they are. <laughs> the perfect hater. Uh -huh. That's right. Bring that out uh -huh. one more time in Psalm 17, 13, because I want everyone to catch. Oh, no, verse 2. Verse 2. It's lock in. Verse 2. Zephaniah, verse 2. 2 and 2. It says that we need to gather together, O nation not desire. Read. Before the decree bring forth. Before the decree goes forth. Before Yahabashai returns. We need to come together. Read. Before the day, before the day pass as the chaff. Uh-huh. That, that day of judgment. It's coming. We don't want to be caught on the other side of the fence uh, in that day. We don't want to be caught holding hands with the oppressor. We need to be with our people, with God's holy church. That's right. The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, okay? Now go back to Psalm 17, 13. Psalm 17, 13. Lock it, lock it. The buses be loud. Psalm 17, 13. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Which is thy sword. So every time we see a brother or sister get shot down by the police, the Lord is authorizing this. Okay? The wicked were created to be wicked. This is why it says in Psalms 58, 3, they are wicked from the womb. That's right. He created them to be vessels of wrath, vessels of des destruction. He put them here to... Uh, Discipline us, essentially. There are his whipping sticks. Uh, Romans 13, 1 through 3, Ark. This is the book of Romans, chapter 13, verses 1 through 3. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. Uh -huh. For there is no power but of God. The Lord said there is no power but of him. He says we need to be subject to the powers for a reason. Read. The powers that be are ordained of God. He has ordained them. Remember, they are his sword. He has ordained them. But why do we need to be subject unto the powers? Read. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God. The laws of God. God had set them in place to keep us in check, to bring us back into submissiveness to him. The Lord said if we want to be submissive to the enemy, we're going to fall by the enemy. Ah. So he put them there to check us, to pull their belt out and whip our butts. That's why we being get, uh, getting killed every day. That's why we was hanging from trees. Why we had to go through almost 500 years of captivity just in this captivity. That's Seven right. different captivities in the history of the world, y'all. That's right. The Egyptians, the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Persians and the Medes, the Grecians, the Romans, the Sub-Saharan, and now the American captivity. That's right. All the swords of God, of the Most High God, whipping his children's butt. As it says in Amos chapter 3, therefore I will punish you. And that is what he's doing. He's punishing the children of Israel. Wake them up. Read. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God, uh -huh. and they that resist 
shall receive to themselves damnation. He says, because we are resisting the ordinance of God, the powers that, that he has established, and essentially the law, statutes, and commandments, he says, we're going to be dealt with accordingly, read. For rulers are not a terror to good works. See, if we are being good, in other words, keeping the laws, he says, they're not a terror unto us. Come. But we are being judged as a nation because our nation is wicked. We got to come back to the Lord. We have to acknowledge our offense, like it says in Hosea 5 and 15. We got to confess our faults and turn to him in sincerity. That's right. Zechariah 3, 1 through 3. Uh. Or 1 through 3. Or Zechariah 1 and 3. So uh. We got to turn back to the Most High God, read. But to the evil. But to the evil. These powers, these tears are to evil works. That's right. When we are getting gunned down by the street, when we're being tossed in prison, why we had to go through slavery after slavery is because we fell into wickedness. The Bible is letting us know if we come back to being good, keeping the laws of God, that these powers aren't a terror to us. Read. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Uh -huh. Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. He said, if we do that which is good, and we know what is good, okay? Uh, get that real quick, Romans 7 and 12. Huh. We know that what is good. He said, do that which is good, and we don't have to worry about these things. But we being judged as a nation. So this is why every time you turn on your TV, you see another brother getting killed. You see a, a, we marching for our lives matter. Well, why do we got to march to say our lives matter? Huh. We God's chosen people. You don't see the East Indians talking about no justice, no peace. When's the last time you seen a, a bunch of Japanese people in the street or, or Arabs in the street or white men in the street talking about, don't shoot us? Wow. We the last hire, first part. No, that's only happening to our people. The that's Lord right. says because we aren't doing that what is good. Romans 7 and 12. This is the book of Romans chapter 7 and verse 12. Uh -huh. Wherefore, the law is holy and the commandment holy and just and good that's what's good the law statutes and commandments so he said if we keep in these good works we don't have to worry about these these terrors these powers it says that they are a threat to those who are essentially breaking god's laws so we got to be subject to the lord we got to resist the devil and the devil will flee from uh, us the bible says that's james 4 and 7. that's right so give me first peter 4 17 and 18. because he's dealing with us he warned us in advance shashabrala he told us if we didn't keep his laws, what would happen? So we don't need to be walking around here shocked, acting surprised, why are we being disciplined? That's right. We just have to simply turn back to the Lord and do what he says, and we will be a blessed people. God. Okay? This is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, verses 17 and 18. God. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. See that? Peter, who has the keys to the kingdom, he's telling us, Judgment has to first happen at the house of God, the house of Jacob, the Israelites. So that is why you see us going through what we're going through is because we are receiving our judgment. Read. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? Uh huh. And if the righteous sca scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? See, that's heavy. He said, uh, he said, if the Lord is dealing with us in this manner, how much worse is it going to be for those who are the ungodly, uh, for the ones that aren't of the covenant, the ones that aren't chosen? The Bible says he's going to deal with them in such a way that we ain't going to be able to fathom. Okay, That destruction is going to be imminent, and he's going to do away with them. That's Only right. a remnant is going to be spared when we go into the kingdom for slavery. That's what the Bible says. That's right. Okay? So the Lord is telling us that judgment must first start at the house of God. Bring it out. But he's going to deal with them for everything they've done with us. That's okay, right. get that real quick in Numbers 35 and 33. Uh, Give me Nahum 3 and 1. I can't wait for that day to come. Well, praise you. That's, All right. Right. <laughs> That's right. That's what we patiently wait for. That's what we patiently wait for. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 35 and verse 33. Uh, so ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land. The Lord said, Thou shalt not pollute the land where thou art, for blood defileth the land. This land was built on the blood of our people. That's right. Okay? The skeletons of our people are all through this land. Read. 
for blood, it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. The Lord said the only way to make this right is not through reparations, not 40 acres and a mule. That's not going to make this right. The Bible says the only way this is going to be made right is if their blood be shed for the blood that they shed. That's right. They're going to have to reap what they sow. They should have never put their hands on the children of Israel, but it was all designed. The Lord told us that he created them to be vessels of, this, of destruction, vessels of wrath. But we over here talk, trying to hold hands, talking about equality. The Lord said, separate from them. That's right. They are not your friends. Okay? Um, bring that out, uh, Nahum 3 and 1. And give me Nahum 1 and 2. Uh, uh, Nahum 3 and 1. Uh, Woe to the bloody city. Woe to the bloody city. The Bible says death in, the de in destruction to the bloody city. And there has not been a more bloody city than America. This is what it's talking about. Read. It is all full of lies and robbery. All full of lies and robbery. This whole kingdom was built on the backs of the Israelites. Rape, rob, and murder. Deceit. That is how this country was established. And now they call them this nation the greatest nation in the world. When it was founded on nothing but dishonesty by murder. The Bible says, woe to that bloody city. Woe to this place. This place is going down, thus saith the Lord. Read. The prey departeth not. Oh no, that's it on that. Go home, or go to um, uh, Nahum 1, 2, and 3, y'all. This is the book of Nahum, chapter 1, verses 2 and 3. Read. God is jealous, and the Lord vengeth. The Lord, Salakia. God is jealous, and the Lord revengeth. The Lord revengeth and is furious. He said he's furious. He's going to get vengeance on the adversaries. The people that done this to us. He said he's not He's not forgotten. He's going to give them back what they did to us. Read. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries. Uh-huh. And he reserveth wrath for his enemies. He said he reserveth wrath for his enemies. See, like it says in Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, because of... Uh, uh, sentence isn't executed speedily it is set in the hearts of men to do wicked uh, but the bible says he has reserved a day for judgment it's coming rest assured read the lord is slow to anger he's slow to anger read and great in power uh -huh. and will not at all acquit the wicked what the lord say and will not at all acquit the wicked he said they're not going to be acquitted in that day they ain't going to be shooting us down and then going to going to court and, and saying not guilty that's going to stop in that day. We ain't going to see our oppressors just getting off the leash in that day. Ah. Okay? He said he's not going to acquit them on that day. That's when right. judgment is coming, that fiery judgment of the Lord is coming to, to his adversaries. Read. The Lord has his way in the whirlwind. That whirlwind, dealing with the destruction that's coming. That thermonuclear destruction, them ICBM missiles that he has created through these scientists just to drop it back on their head. Ah. Read. And in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. And that's dealing with that mushroom cloud that's going to happen. That's going to be rolled out like a, like a scroll. Only, only a, a, a nuclear weapon can do something like that. Really? That's right. Oh, that's it on that. Give me some rock 10 and 8. So the Lord is going to deal with this kingdom accordingly. Uh, okay, accordingly. So rock 10 and 8. Uh, Rock chapter 10, verse 8. And give me Psalm 149, 5 through 9. This is the book. Shalom, brother. Shalom, brother. How you doing? Good, brother. You got, you got a minute for the word of God? Oh, I know the word. You know the word? Okay, I'll praise the most high. So what we take a flyer, brother. So what we out here to do is to wake up the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans to the truth of who they are according to the Bible. Not according to what man has called us, but what does say of the Lord. So if you don't mind me asking, brother. What's your nationality on your father's side? Uh, ethnicity. What's your ethnicity on your father's side? African American. Can you show me that in the Bible? Uh, so you just touch it. No. It's not in there, right? Right. So who are we, according to the Lord? Um, Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. Um, and then, uh, after you get Isaiah 1 and 3, give me Deuteronomy 13 and 26. So what our mission is, is to show our people who they are according to the Bible. 
not what the people of these lands have told us and, and put us uh, in subjection to them, okay? We ain't African-American. The word, let me give you a little quick history lesson on where African-American came from, first of all. The word Africa comes from a Roman general, okay, during the time of the Punic Wars, around 300 to 200 BC, during the time of Hannibal, by the name of Scipio Africanus, a white man, okay? The word America comes from another Roman, an Italian map maker, by the name of Amerigo Vespucci. This is where you get the, the, the term America and the term African. And they call us that. Why? Because they stole us from the western shores of Africa. Would you agree with that? Yes. Okay, I'll praise to the Most High. So the Lord is telling us that this would happen to a certain group of people. You're not African American, brother, and you ain't black. Black is the color of your hat. You brown, would you agree? Right. Okay, so let's show you real quick. Isaiah 1 and 3. Isaiah 1 and 3. Uh -huh. The ox knoweth his owner. The Bible says the ox knoweth his owner. An ox, like a bull or a buffalo. Knows who his owner is, read. And the ass is master's crib. And an ass, a donkey, knows who his master. So uh, two dumb animals know who they belong to and where they're from, read. But Israel does not know. But the Israelites, the true biblical Israelites don't know who they are. This is what the Lord is telling us. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. The Lord said that his children would discontinue from their heritage that he gave us. So let me ask you something, King. I'm going to call you King. What's your name, brother? Oh. Tony. Tony. Oh, praise my brother Uriel. What is our heritage? Well, just, just your best understanding. What do you think our heritage is? That's a tough one, right? Uh, yeah, see, one, one, one thing I, uh, I saw some short-term okay, memory okay. loss. Okay, so it's, uh, everything coming in just scrambled in my okay, head. I'll, I'll try to talk a little slower. You know? Okay, all right, all right. So the Bible says that his children would lose their heritage as a people. So this didn't happen to everybody, but the Israelites lost who they are as a people. This is what the Lord is telling us in the prophet Jeremiah here. Okay, read. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. The Lord said the same people that would lose their heritage, their identity, would have to serve a people that the Lord calls our enemies. Read. In the land which thou knowest not. Okay. Okay, brother. Hey, all praise to my side. Thank you. All praise. To hey, you from the tribe of Judah. You an Israelite, my brother. Whether you believe that or not, right now. That's right. Do some research. Don't take my word for it. Do some research. Yeah. All right. Check the YouTube. Right. YouTube on that. That's our. That's our channel on that flyer, brother. All praise to the Most High. So, you know, these buses. If we catch these buses, they gotta get going. <laughs> I guess. So, but all praise, you know, hey, even if it's a small seed, you know, uh, we, t we say it all the time, not every plant, not every tree grows at the same pace. That's right. Seeds, different seeds take different time to grow. So even a small seed being planted, the Lord will have his time for it to be watered and for it to be nurtured and grow. That's that right. brother got a small seed, but in time, it might grow, That's depending right. on if it's the Lord's will or not. That brother is chosen of the Lord because he is an Israelite. That's right. So, Lord willing, you know, the brother said he had a stroke. Um, so he's dealing with some health issues. But Lord willing, he'll go home and, and look into this. Ah, so, crap. Uh, back to the lesson now. So, uh, uh, it's Rock 10 and 8. It's Rock 10 and 8. Ah. And give me Psalm 149, off. Huh? Actually, hold on. Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 10 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Because of un unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit. Unrighteous dealings, injury, and riches got by deceit. Read. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. From one people to another. The Lord says when people are living wickedly and they get riches got by deceit, 
that they will lose their empire. Their kingdom will be translated one to another. This is why you see every major ruling empire in the history of the world rising and falling, starting with the Egyptians. Mic check, mic check. Starting with the Egyptians. You see major empires in the history of the world that were in rulership for a period of time, and then they were conquered, and then their uh, rulership was trans transferred, transitioned to another kingdom. That's, right. That's what's going to happen to America. So going back to Egypt, it transferred to us being in rulership for a time with King David okay, and Solomon, but then we fell into idolatry. And as a result, the Assyrians took us captive. That's right. And then after that, it was the Babylonians, and then the Persians and the Medes. Then the Grecians with Alexander the Creek, and then the Romans, and then the Sub-Saharan, and now the American captivity. And if you notice something, all those major empires rose and fall. The Lord is telling them, read that one more time. Sirach 10 and 8. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 10 and verse 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Oh, praises to the Most High. Uh, he said that riches got by deceit and injury, no greater kingdom than America has done this. Right. That's right. This place calls itself great, prosperous, all on the backs of our people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's going to transition by the fall of this kingdom to our rulership, the Israelites going into the new kingdom. Mm -hmm. Okay, Psalms 149, 5 through 9. Read that with the power. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 149, verses 5 through 9. Uh -huh. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Uh -huh. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Uh -huh. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. Read. And a two-edged sword in their hand. Uh -huh. To execute vengeance upon the heathen. To execute vengeance upon the heathen, the Bible says, read. And punish upon and punishments upon the people. Read. To bind their kings with chains. To bind their kings with chains, the Bible says, read. And their nobles with fetters of iron. Uh-huh. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. This is the honor that the Lord has given us, that we're going to take them into captivity, that the kingdom will be transitioned from this wicked kingdom to the new kingdom, the new heaven, the new earth, the heavenly Jerusalem. Read. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Uh, this is what we're waiting on, y'all. Uh, Read that out, King. Luke 1, 68 through 71, and then give me Revelation 13, 9, 10. We'll close. Luke 1, 68 through 71. Uh-huh. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Of everybody. Of Israel. The Bible says, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Read. Uh, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. He's going to redeem his people, the Bible says. Read. And hath raised up an horn of salvation for us. For us, the Bible says. That horn of salvation is Hamashiach Yahawashai, the black Messiah. Read. That's right. For us in the house of his servant David. In his servant David, because he's the seed of David. Read. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, uh -huh. that we should be saved from our enemies. What the Lord say? That we should be saved from our enemies. That we should be saved from our enemies. Uh -huh. He's going to rescue us out of this captivity. We are going to be getting gunned down no more. We ain't going to be worrying about being last hired, first fire, being in the ghettos, prostituting our sisters, okay? Broken homes. Filling up the jailhouses. We ain't gonna have to worry about that in that day. Read. And from the hand of all that hate. And us. from the hand of every crafty council of all the people that came together with one consent to take the children of Israel down, we ain't gonna have to worry about it then. Read. That's right. That's it on that. Now give me Revelation 13, 9 and 10. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verses 9 and 10. Uh -huh. If any man have an ear, if let anyone him... has an ear, anyone has any understanding, listen up. Let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. <laughs> the Bible says, he who led his children into captivity is going to go into captivity. The black, Hispanic, and Native Americans have been led in seven different captivities. The Bible says that everybody who placed their hands on us, on the children of Yasharala, they are going into captivity. That's right. Bring it out, huh? He that killeth with the sword. Everyone that killed the children of Israel with the sword, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, the Bible says, read, 
must be killed with the sword. Justice is coming. Thus saith the Lord. Read. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And this is what we are faithfully and patiently waiting for. That's right. Justice is coming. We ain't going to have to march and hold up signs no more when the That's black right. Messiah, Hamashiach, Yahawashah return. That's right. And with that, we'd like to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashiach, Yahawashah. Kwan Yashurala. Kwan Yashurala.